All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we just finished the previous episode not too long ago, and let's talk to Mid as the next part of the quest. All right, Clive, you've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, quest complete. Nice. I didn't think it'd be as simple as that. I thought she was going to have us do like a bunch more stuff. It definitely was quite a few things, though. But yeah, anyways, let's uh, let's continue on. That's my good deed for the day done. <laughs> let's see how Jill's faring. All right, visit the infirmary. Cool. Shouldn't we be getting some rest soon? Yeah, I probably should be, to be honest, but, uh, what's in here? Oh, I don't know. Um, but anyways, it should probably check out some of the side missions. I'm just gonna go on this, the main mission, though, I think, because, yeah. Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask, he must have found something. Whoops, I didn't mean to skip that little mini dialogue there, my bad. What is this, Rodrigue Physiker? You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Taya has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. It's my first time, and I, I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Well, you survived, I know, but there as many die as recover. Is it Dude. really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. You know full well what we're fighting for. I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden mm. and we must lift True. that burden in order to go undetected the operation may be dangerous but it's also essential and we undergo it willingly i know i still wish there was some other way but griping about my lot helps no one i suppose don't worry i'll do what must be done I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that he's doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have would barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. Oh. Thank you. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Alright, uh, I'm not going to prioritize it for now, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of grab it and just in case if we're in that area in the near future We'll go ahead and uh, have it available to us. I suppose that's what I was thinking. Just grab some of these quests and do that um, oh, She's got something Welcome to the patrons whisper well, thank Your you. benefactors are a generous lot. Ah, nice. Uh, what is this? I got an orchestrion and an empty shrine. Just some money. All right, cool You earned this Thank you. Thank you All done? Yep, for now. Uh, do you have those marks you stuff? This, do you? Alliant reports. Yeah, Here that's you go. Oh, I guess there's none. Never mind. Always something in there. Yeah, you can tell me. Tell us. You can say that again. Oh, shoot. That's weird, but alright. Why is our connection offline? Oh my gosh, hello. Uh, hello? What's going on?
Hold on, guys. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Having some trouble. Okay, let's see if that's fixed. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. That's weird. Hopefully my internet Jeez, connection isn't going out for some people. reason. It's been having some weird stuff lately. Oh, yep, there he goes again. Oh, <laughs> Maeve knows how to probe it. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. Ah, what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? How could I refuse? Tommy tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine, I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chancer's Stew. It was once a favorite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. Alright, got a couple of those done. Um, let's go ahead and grab a, one or two more. I know there's one out this direction, I think. Wait, no, not this direction. Over here, yep. That guy down there. And then we'll, uh,. We'll go ahead and do... Oh, there's two of them down here. Yep. We'll go ahead and do our main quest here in a second. Oh, what a lovely fragrance. Anyone would think Nigel was growing himself a rose garden. <laughs> uh, Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in a bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Yeah, definitely. <sighs> Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course. If my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, 
I will require several samples, preferably of blooms, which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. <laughs> the root of the problem. <laughs> All right, I think there's one more down here. I'm not sure exactly where. It's right behind me, right? Yeah, yeah, this guy. Or girl? I think it's a guy. It won't be long now, Martel. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know there's something of the old hideaway still. Martel's I'm pretty sure we already went through enjoyed. this. It was a sapling when she rescued. Yeah, took yeah. It we already listened to this you... actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it real fast. Cause first time I didn't grab it. Nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she always had a soft spot for that lot, see. And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go, Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. <laughs> Alright, that should be all the ones here for now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and... Speak with Gav in the shelves, sorry. Let's look at my side quests for a second. Which one? What is this? Speak with a butcher at Martha's Rest. Is that the one? No, it's this way. Deliver the apples to the highway's curse breakers. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's untrack one of these then. This one, I guess, for now. Oh, what a lovely fragrance. Anyone would think Nigel was growing himself a rose garden. <laughs> uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Good. Ooh, what's in here? Off limits, that means you, okay. Alright. Wait, can we uh, upgrade anything, by the way? I don't do think so, but I'm gonna double check real quick. Sorry, what it be? Ooh, yeah, we can actually. We can get a better one. Or, yeah, yeah, we can upgrade this one. Grindstone. Should last you a good while. Yes, sir, I will equip it. Uh, we got anything else we can upgrade? 53. What do we currently have on? This? Oh, right, we can only. Upgrade one thing with the the liquid flame. Um, I think I'll save it just in case. Hunter's waist cloth is better than what we have though. That's not a bad idea. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. No scratches, yes. right? And electro for that. Okay. Um. Let me double check, make sure we're good here. What was the one we had before? Oh, just 50, okay. So it was the platinum belt. Okay, and then grindstone's our new weapon. We had the platinum sword before, which is just five less damage. Not bad, but I mean, I'll definitely take this one if I can. Um, yeah, uh, we might sell some stuff, but let's go ahead and get this, uh, this main quest going real quick. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive. I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. <laughs> now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but
but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. <coughs> and regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. There you are! You probably could have worded that better. I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. Sometime later. <gasps> Isn't it brilliant? It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Alrighty then. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Got an engineer. Bernard. What's up, dude? And of course, mid. Uh, what's in here? Anything? Doesn't seem like it, but interesting. Oh, that's probably gonna be used for something now. I would, I'd be willing to, to bet. Uh, all right. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back. I promise. <laughs> Let's uh, head to Vivian. I think I'll wait till mid's away to take a tour of her dungeon. <laughs> Let me give these uh, apples to the hideaways curse breakers real fast. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. The Martel apples. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. I got you. Mid's finished outfit in her little workshop by Them here. Old apples were With a little help from your Sid, of course. But these beauties are of course. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Me. These take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. 
Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. <laughs> that sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. <laughs> well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Definitely. It's the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Mm. We grab this first real fast. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but... <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? <sighs> Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped. And what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. Oops. <laughs> I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. Oh, true. I forgot he couldn't, like, point this in the, in the right direction kind of thing. I wonder if that would have worked with that. Mm, probably not. But that one quest. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go ahead and mm. old apples grab this. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Wait, are we just going to stand here? <laughs> what? Here? <laughs> Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Oh, uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? Hold now. For your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> ah, Byron. Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! Ha 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 
Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.